Before 1776, the British royal family, as the head of the monarchy, held control over the American colonies through the British government. The colonies were considered part of the British Empire and were subject to the authority of the British Crown. This control was exercised through colonial governors appointed by the Crown, British laws, and the enforcement of economic policies that benefited Britain, such as the Navigation Acts, which restricted colonial trade to benefit the mother country. Colonists were British subjects and had to follow British laws, although they had no direct representation in the British Parliament. Tensions grew as colonists increasingly felt that their rights were being infringed upon, particularly with the imposition of taxes like the Stamp Act and Tea Act without their consent, taxation without representation. These tensions eventually led to the American Revolution, during which the colonies sought independence from British rule. In 1776, the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence, formally severing political ties with Britain and the monarchy, marking the end of royal control over what would become the United States. During the period leading up to 1776 and the American Revolution, King George III was the British monarch. He reigned from 1760 to 1820 and was the king during the events that led to the American colony's decision to declare independence, including the imposition of taxes and other policies that fueled colonial discontent.